This video will show you how iClicker Cloud interacts with your existing lecture content and video conferencing software to engage students wherever they are through remote instruction. Before coming to this step, you'll need to have already downloaded the iClicker Cloud desktop software from iClicker.com downloads, created your account, and set up your course. Having a consistent order of operations can be very helpful when setting up each remote class. This is my own personal preference, but you can follow the steps in any order you'd like. I always start by first opening the iClicker Cloud Instructor software, then my lecture slides, and finally my video conferencing software. So to start, open up the iClicker Cloud desktop software and sign in with your instructor credentials. Hover over your course and click Start Class. This launches your iClicker toolbar, which you'll use to control synchronous, polling, quizzing, and attendance activities. The iClicker toolbar is going to float over the other content on your screen, just like your video conferencing software, as I'll show in a moment. Next, I open up my lecture slides. I happen to be using PowerPoint in this video, but iClicker works with any presentation software, such as Google Slides or Keynote, in addition to documents, websites, images, you name it. After launching iClicker Cloud and your lecture slides, the last step to get ready for class is to open up your video conferencing software. In this video, I'm using Zoom, but other tools such as Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, and Blackboard Collaborate will function in a similar way. I'm also starting my meeting directly via the Zoom app, but your school may have integrated your video conferencing software with your learning management system, such as Canvas or Blackboard. In Zoom, I click New Meeting to open up my personal meeting room. I make sure my audio and video sharing settings are to my liking. When I'm ready to start class and project my screen to my students, I click the green Share Screen button at the bottom. I usually select to share my entire desktop as that allows students to view both PowerPoint and iClicker. As you can see, the iClicker toolbar remains floating over your screen so you can easily access it throughout class. The iClicker toolbar will capture the green and red Zoom toolbar down here in screenshots, so make sure Zoom is out of the way of your lecture slides. When you get to a question you'd like to ask your students, click the poll icon on your iClicker toolbar to open up the polling options. Click the green Start button to allow students to respond to your question on their laptops or mobile devices. This is similar to the Share button in the Zoom toolbar. While the Zoom toolbar allows you to share a live stream of your desktop with your students, the iClicker toolbar captures a static image of whatever is on your screen at that moment and sends that screenshot as a polling question to students' devices. This is what a polling question looks like in our iClicker student app. Students see everything that was on your screen when you clicked the Start button on your iClicker toolbar. For a multiple choice question like this, the answer choices automatically show up as A through E below the screenshot. As the instructor, you'll click the red stop button to close the poll. Click on the results icon to share the feedback with your class. You can grade the results by clicking on each correct response. You can also grade after class on the iClicker Cloud Instructor website, or not at all. When you're done with your iClicker activity, click the back arrow and then click the End button. You can end your iClicker class session with or without an exit poll. Thanks for watching and please visit iClicker.com/support to learn more about using iClicker Cloud.